Uh, morning, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to read you an excerpt from uh, a book by Johnny Wilkinson, the rugby player, and the book called Tackling My Life. When I allowed myself to feel great, letting in only the most positive, optimistic thoughts, then great things started to happen. When I decided to let instinct and compassion drive me instead of judgment, then good people seemed to appear in my life and nice things began to occur for them too. What helped me notice this first, however, was the flip side of the coin. It was the impact of my negative and self-pitying moods. The mornings when I got out of bed the wrong side or woke up feeling a little worse off were so often followed by awful why me days, when everything seemed to go wrong. Have you ever stepped back to look at the damage you cause in other people's lives when you are concerned only with moaning about your own misfortune or taking out your frustrations on them? I did, and I started to look at how all those bad days could easily have been great ones for me and those around me if I'd only shaken off the ill feeling. If I open my eyes and I feel a little low with a touch of anger now, I take a bit of time to drive the negativity away. I concentrate on how lucky I am to be in the position I am with the friends I have around me. I inspire myself by concentrating on thoughts of what might happen if my life, in my life if I really pull out all the stops and how I could help others to achieve their goals too. I retain a memory of something which makes me laugh out loud and I make sure I leave my front door with a smile on my face. I choose to have a great day and in doing so choose to help my colleagues at least have the option of a good one too. Right now, you could be in a bit of a self-pitying mood, couldn't you? Uh, things are not great, can't go out of the house, can't go to school, can't see my friends. How can you turn a negative into a positive? My thought for the day. Best of luck.